In this video, we will cover uploading cache data into WebGap. If an entity uses the Uniform School Accounting System software, then the GAP EXP text file, which is a tabbed limited file that contains UCS account information, is intended to be used in the following upload procedure. In order to get that file, you can either generate it yourself or have someone at the district run the USA EXP option number 8 GAP EXP in USAS and enter in your email address in the program so the file will be sent directly to you. From there, you can save the file to your desktop to use during this upload process. If your entity is not on USAS, then you'll have to manually create a tabbed limited file following the specs in the GAP wiki. Upon logging in, you will want to select the entity and fiscal year that you wish to upload the cache file to. For this example, we're going to be using 2012. In order to upload cache data, you have to have update access. If you need to be granted access, please follow your ITC's procedures for requesting access to the WebGAP system. After selecting the entity and fiscal year, you will want to go to the Setup menu. About halfway down, there is an Upload Cache Data link. Click on it, and it will change your screen to the area where you upload the GAP EXP text file or the tab limited file that you generated following the specs in the GAP wiki. You can enter the file name directly and click Upload or click on the Browse button to search for the file and then click Upload. Clicking on the No File for Upload button will return you to the Setup menu. The system will display a File Upload status screen that will notify you that the file has been uploaded. It will also display any errors that may have occurred during the process. Note that if you receive any errors, you'll need to make the corrections and upload a newly generated file. This file can be uploaded as many times as necessary as it will overwrite the previous upload and not cause any problems. Click on the Done button to return to the Setup menu.